Fun Jim is also a cave explorer, known as the Spelunker. A mining company asks our famous Spelunker to explore part of their gold mine. Fun Jim is a slim 60 kilograms, and the bucket is a hefty 975 kilograms. On the dot at the left, draw all the forces acting on the bucket. Alright, so here we have Slingen in a bucket, finding a cave. And the only forces that are being applied to him are the force of weight, because he's on Earth, and also, you might have guessed, he has a tension force. So here's tension, here's the force of weight. Alright, so we drew and labeled our forces. What is the total mass of Jim and the bucket? Alright, this is pretty easy. The mass of the bucket is 975 kilograms, and Jim's mass is 60 kilograms. So when we add these together, 975 plus 60, we get 1,035, 1,035 kilograms, that is the total mass. Now, what is the total weight? of gin in the bucket. Well, the force of weight is mass times gravity. So that is going to be equal to the mass is 1,035 and gravity is 9.8. And when we multiply those together, 1,035 times 9.8, we get 10,143, 10,143 newtons downward. The last part says to calculate the tension in the rope when he begins to accelerate downward at negative 1.4 meters per second squared. Alright, well we know that the sum of the forces equal mass times acceleration. And we know the sum of the forces are these two forces combined? Well, since tension is pointing up, it's pulling Jim and the bucket up, it's going to be a positive tension. And then the force of weight is pulling the objects down, so that is going to be a negative force of weight. So the sum of those forces equal mass times acceleration. We don't know tension, but we do know that the force of weight is 10,143, and we know that the mass is 1,035, and that acceleration is negative 1.4. Alright, so when we multiply the right side out, we get let's see, 1,035 times negative 1.4. We get one, negative 1,449.
negative 1,449. So to solve for tension, we're going to add 10,143 to both sides. That is a silly looking three. All right. So our tension equals negative 1,449 plus 10,143. So our tension is equal to Eight thousand six hundred and ninety four newtons up. And if we think about that really quick, if these objects were in equilibrium, if the if the if splingen and the bucket were not moving up or down or accelerating, uh, then the tension would actually be equal and opposite to the force of weight. But they're moving downwards. So think about what's going to happen to the tension when something's moving down at an, with an acceleration. The tension is going to be a little bit less because the rope doesn't have to work so hard to support this because it's falling. So we can expect our tension to be a little bit less than our force of weight in this situation. And that's exactly what we have. We have 8,694, and that's, that's less than 10,143.